Hey guys, and welcome to this video where we want to prove or show that an even number plus another even number is always equal to or always equals an even number. Now in green below, we have the definition of what it means for a number to be even, and it states that an even number is an integer that gives a remainder of zero when divided by two. An example of this is two times n, where n is some arbitrary integer value. Now, right below it in orange, I have the definition of what it means for a number to be odd. And it states that an odd number is an integer that gives a remainder of 1 when divided by 2. And an example of this is 2 times m plus or minus 1, where m is some arbitrary integer value as well. Now, we won't be needing that definition for this video proof, but it's just good to know the definition of an odd number in general for maybe other proofs. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a few examples. We're going to add two even numbers together and see if we get back an even number as the answer. So the first two numbers we're going to add together are 2 and 4. Now both 2 and 4 are even numbers, and they are equal to the number 6 after we add them together. And the number six is also an even number. Let's look at another example, example two. We're going to add the number 100 and the number 500. And we get 600. Now both 100 is an even number and 500 is an even number. So both of them are even numbers and 600 is also an even number. If you can't immediately see that, you can think of 100 as 2 times 50, and you can think of 500 as 2 times 250, and you can think of 600 as 2 times 300. All right, I'll do one more example. We'll take the number 10, and we will add it with the number 8, and the number 10 is even, the number 8 is even, and they equal 18, which is also an even number. So we can see here that it's looking like this is a true statement that an even number plus an even number always equals an even number. So let's go ahead and try to prove this now. We're going to take the definition of an even number, like 2 times n, and we're going to add it to another even number, like 2 times k. Now, k in this case is some arbitrary integer value, like n, but they may or may not be equal to each other. They may not be the same value. So we're basically showing that these could be two different even numbers being added together. All right. So now we will go ahead and factor out that 2. So we get 2 times n plus k. And n plus k is an arbitrary integer value because n is an arbitrary integer value, and so is k. So let's let n plus k equal some arbitrary integer value. We'll call it m in this case. So now if we rewrite our equation, we get 2 times m. And since m is an arbitrary integer value, this basically goes along with our definition of what it means for a number to be even, which is 2 times some arbitrary integer value. In this case, it's m instead of n, but it's still an even number. And so that is our answer. That's our proof. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching this proof on an even number plus an even number always equals an even number. And I will see you all in the next video.